number one ranked Kansas Jayhawks are inbound to take on their hometown center. In fact, almost five years ago to the night, same scenario. Kansas just appointed number one. They came in here and the Sooners beat them by 28 points. You can bet that Roy Williams reminded his club of that today. Hi, everybody. Ron Franklin along with Derek Dickey, and welcome to Big Monday here in the Big 8 Conference. You know, if you're going to stop this number one team in Kansas, you got to stop Jacques Vaughn. But now they call him Jacques and the Beanstalks. Which is more important to stop, Jacques or the Beanstalks? Well, I think they're both important, Ron, but inside, Greg Ostertag is one of those Beanstalks you're referring to. Seven foot two in senior likes to lead the Jayhawks wants to get the ball down on the block and score but he gets some great support from a couple of guys a freshman Rafe LaFrenz and also from Scott Pollard off the bench those guys had great games against Oklahoma you know if you walked into this arena tonight you might think it's one of those early primary states because everywhere you look there are signs for Ryan Miner he's not really running for anything but he's got a head start on the MVP position in the Big A conference race well Ryan is one of those complete players he comes to the table with a full package he can score he can get to the free throw line. He leads the conference in both of those departments. Second in rebounding, and he shoots almost 50% from the field. So coming out from Norman, Oklahoma, the number one ranked Jayhawks of Kansas and the Sooners of Oklahoma. The Jayhawks 20 and 3 on the season. In fact, this is four years in a row that after 23 games, they have had a mark of 20 wins against three losses. Let's take a look at the starting lineups tonight. First of all, for Roy Williams and the visitors from KU. Jacques Vaughn and Haas are the guards. Pearson, LaFrenz, and Ostertag. And Haas, a very good first game against the Sooners. He had a total of 16 points. Of course, he is a transfer from Cal. For Calvin Sampson and the Sooners of Oklahoma, and boy, do they have some support here tonight. Anches and Fowler, Abercrombie, Ryan Miner, and James Maiden. Maiden, the 6'10 senior, and he's got to step up big tonight. He has been struggling a little of late. This is not necessarily a team that you get well against in Kansas. No question about it. James Maiden struggled in that first meeting, did not take a shot from the field or the free throw line, and he fouled out. So you see a half-game lead by Kansas over Oklahoma State. Missouri at 7-3, and three, Oklahoma at 6-4, and four, and interestingly, the Sooners fresh off a win over that tough Missouri team of Norm Stewart. As you look at Ostertag, about to tee it up for the last time wearing that uh, blue and red of KU here at the Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. He'll jump it up against Maiden. Ball is in the air, and the tip goes to mine. Oklahoma offense first. Oklahoma has to utilize their team speed, quickness, get some steals, force turnovers, and rebound defensively is going to be crucial for them. Anches with the ball. The officials in tonight's ball game. David Hall is the referee. Bill Kennedy and Scott Thornley are the umpires. That's a big basket for John Anches because he too, just like Maiden, did not take a shot attempt in the first meeting last week with these two teams. Harrison from three-point range swishes it. Sean Pearson has been struggling of late from the field. Only eight out of 39 shot attempts in the last four games. Very important that the Sooners come out shooting hot. Miner misses on his first attempt for tonight. Inside for the France. He'll go to the line and it looks as though launches. But let's check it. David Hall with the call inside. picked up the foul. But he's the guy that can't get into foul trouble because as we talked about earlier today, the fact that they don't have as many fouls to give inside and Maiden picks up his first in the first minute of play. Well, Maiden was in foul trouble in the first meeting last week against Kansas. He only was able to play 13 minutes with, those, with five fouls in that ball game. is the second one and it's a 4-2 ball game KU 
Oklahoma wants to try to utilize their speed, make this a 94-foot game, not a half-court game. If you play a half-court game, keep the score in the 60s and 70s, you play into the Jayhawks' hands. If Oklahoma can get the score in the 80s or 90s, they have a much better chance to win. They got that ball inside to Abercrombie just now. He came back out with the pass, but I think he is a man who has stepped up considerably as we have seen him over the course of the uh, season. Minor fouled on the way to the hoop. Fouled by Jacques Vaughn, his first and the team's first. That's one of the reasons we talk about Ryan Minor as being a complete player. Not only can he go get the ball off the board, but he moves well without the ball. He Watch how he goes back door looking for this bounce pass to try to get to the basket. And if he doesn't shoot the ball, Ryan Miner can get to the free throw line. He leads the conference in free throw shooting almost 89% from the line. Bill Kennedy underneath on the baseline made the call. So Miner with his first two of the night. And we're tied at four. I can tell you I've been to this arena a lot of times, but I think this is a much electricity as I've heard here in a very long time, if not ever. They are really keyed up to help this ball club tonight. Vaughn misses on the three-point attempt. Anches gets to Carroll. Fowler for three. That's a very good point you just made, Ron, about the fans because they have to get involved in a game like this to give the Sooners whatever help and confidence they need. The most important thing is we'll see how much the Sooner team feeds off of it. Vaughn for three. Boy, and every time OU comes up with something, KU has an answer, which you would expect. Which you would expect. And Jacques Vaughn has, he has the answer for just about anything that a defense can throw at him or an offense. He's been bothered by a couple of injuries, nagging injuries, stitches, ankle, and a strange stomach muscle. Minor with the shooter's roll. That is a great touch. He was almost behind the glass when he shot it. Pearson with a lob inside. Somebody didn't get the signal. Pollard will come off the bench immediately. Ostertag will come to the bench. I believe that pass was intended for Greg Ostertag, and he was held up. James May put his forearm out and just slowed him down enough so he couldn't get that backdoor pass. Well, how's this for a first-year coach? 13-0 at home, almost 85 points a game. Lost eight of the last nine has Oklahoma to KU. 13 and it was very impressive considering they were eight and six last year at home in the Big Eight Conference. How about five teams in the top 25 in this conference? Now? Well, I'll tell you, the way they have played, and for people who've had to come in and play them, I think you can ask UMass uh, and also UConn right off the top what they think of the conference because both of them got blistered by KU. But look at the numbers in the five that Derek's talking about. Very, very impressive. with a record of 20 and 3. They're 9 and 2 in conference play. Oklahoma 19 and 6. They're 6 and 4 in conference play. Vaughn for 3. Not there. Whistle of the foul. Pollard over the back. We're going to keep an eye on Oklahoma as they try to box out, and that's going to be very important. You try to get as many defensive rebounds as they can, and by doing that, you have to put body on body, and that time Maiden got in Scott Pollard's way and forced that foul. You know, one of the things that the Oklahoma players said today at the shoot-around, as did uh, uh, their head coach, and that is the fact if this game is allowed to be physical tonight, that's in the favor of Oklahoma because they don't have as many fouls to give particularly inside but if it's if it's a touch foul game then that goes against the Sooners Absolutely. attrition is going to be a major factor for the Sooners if they get into foul trouble Maiden against Potter James Maiden's only averaging 5.6 rebounds a game but if he looks at the basket he can create some havoc for the defense of Kansas Potter off the mark Anches will push it up for the Sooners Minor for three but a great job of hustle by Abercrombie. On the floor. Fowler hustles to the hoop. Can't get it to go, and the friends grabs off the rebound. Hoss for three. Here comes Fowler. Three on two break. Sooners. Miner takes it inside, and a foul on Vaughn. And that's going to be the second on Jacques. 
That could be a big foul on Jock Vaughn. There's a break in the action. We'll take it with them. They are hopping here in a dormant. The new Ford Contour has... I mentioned the fact that the Jayhawks have three losses against 20 wins. All of those losses have come on the road. 85.1 points a game at, at leads the Big 8. And a field goal defense that's number two in the nation. Like one and a half point behind Alabama, who is number one at a 36-point margin 